हाय फ्रेंड्स हेलो एवरीवन नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू हाउ आई वांट टू टेल यू हाउ टू डो यूज द लाइन कंसोल पासवर्ड्स हाउ टू यूज द लाइन कंसोल पासवर्ड्स इज व्हेनेवर यू आर गोइंग फॉर नेटवर्किंग एग्जाम फॉर अ राउटर और अ स्विच द CLI and the console tabs here will be locked up and will not be able to configure your switch and your CLI mode. So for that one, if you want to configure the switch, uh, 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 we use this line console password. So how to do it is take one PC, connect this PC to your console cable. Console cable connects to your serial port connection, and then to console. Now go to your uh, PC desktop. Go to your PC. Go to desktop. Go to terminal. You can see some tabs over here. That is a bit per second data bits parity and all. These numbers are correct. Press click on OK. You will see that you can interface the switch similarly like that of your CLI mode in your switch. Now here you can configure the switch. You can enable the switch. For that, I am using the command enable. I am using the command after enabling the switch. I am going into configure mode. Config T for that. I am using config T. After configuring, configuring it, I am assigning the line console password 0. After that, I am giving the password Cisco. Cisco. Now type login. After that, after logging into this one, now what? Now I want to see what I have done. I have. I want to save my startup configuration. For that, come out of this configuration mode. Then you type. Then you type. Copy. Running configuration and startup configuration. After that, you press enter and again enter. It will be saved. And to see that, you type show run. You can see the version of the device what you are using, the sanitary mode, and what is there in it, and all the other interfaces what are there in a switch. The switch here consider is having 24 fast Ethernet ports and 2 gigabit Ethernet ports. All the Ethernet ports with their information, whatever it is there, will be seen. And here you can also see that VLAN 1 is also interfaced. It is having no IP address and is in shutdown mode. And you can see the line console password is set and it is Cisco. And here the virtual terminal is also there. But we didn't uh, uh, assign the password to it. Now I will show you how to assign a password for the virtual terminal. So again, I want to go to config config D configuration mode. Now I am changing my host name. After changing my host name, now I line console password is used for uh, uh, user mode of operation. And for want to enter into the privilege mode of operation, you have to give a uh, enable secret password for that I am I am using enable secret enable secret and here also I am giving the pass giving the password Cisco Cisco now I am giving the password for my virtual terminal that is line V T Y G zero space fifteen because the password can consist of fifteen characters now you assign the password. Cisco, then type login and then come out of this mode of operation and save your comp running configuration that is copy configuration and now if you want to see the running configuration again you type show run now similarly how we have seen earlier same like thing you have you will be seeing over here and you can see the vlan one down and you can see that the vty password is already set now we can access your vlan also here so how to access the ip uh, access your vlan give the ip addresses go to config mode then 
go to config mode then give interface vlan1 then add ip address then give no shutdown now you can see here similarly like your cli command here also the interface is changed to up now you exit out of this after that how to use this is now close this window take one more pc put it here and connect this to your fast straight to cable for the fast ethernet port after connecting this switch on to the click on your pc desktop and then go to ip and do the assign ip address to your switch after sending the ip address to your switch then close this one and then go to command prompt and now by using your telnet services you can change operate your switch Now it is going. It's time to open. Uh, open your switch. Now you can see it is asking for a password. Now it is in the enable mode of operation. Now it is in user mode of operation, and I am enabling my switch to configure my switch. It is again asking my password, Cisco, and now I can configure the switch. <laughs> Similarly, like in my CLI mode, this is how the line interface, line console passwords, and midway password are helpful to us.